This is the Mileo 261 motorhome, which apparently has new for 2022. Uh, is that true? I don't know, but what I can tell you is new for 2022 is this Fiat logo. Doesn't that look uh, quite uh, good? It's original, it's new. It's, it, I think it's tradition at the same time as suggesting something in the future. Anyway, that's uh, uh, how I see it. But never mind that. What about the 261 you're saying? Is this genuinely a new van or is it just a hash of, of something we've seen before? 61,380. Uh, the upholstery is called Berlin. Seven meters long, 230 wide. Uh, Fiat Ducato. All right, so let's come in. This isn't the floor, this is just the covering. They've got the stop people coming in and making a mess inside. We've got a bed up here, and we've got a German layout in the back. And uh, so what's new here then? I don't, know, I don't think I've seen this, this, this stripey effect here. I don't like that very much. I looks a bit... Oh, I see what's new, this has been broken. Yeah, that's, that's something new. And uh, what's this like? That didn't sound very good either, did it? Broken there as well. Yeah, yeah. And what's this doing in here? Oh, that's from there. All right, so you can see it's already falling to pieces. Let's hope, the, let's hope, let's hope nothing else breaks before I get out of here. I mean, could find myself stuck in here all night because something's broken. Do you want to see inside here? Ooh, not like that one. Oh, it doesn't open. I have to open it down here. All right. It's not a bad uh, storage area, that one. Got here the... Uh... The drawers. That's broken as well. This looks as though it might be broken. Oh, it's not, sorry. No, it isn't. There's a boiler. That's, somebody's got a horn which is working. This is clever. There's your garage. Yes, yeah, so you can go into your garage. You can see, see what's happening in the garage. You might want to check your garage for whatever reason. And you can do it like that. Oh, that's original, isn't it? And another good thing they've got here. Look at this. This is this is really this is really elite stuff. There, look, a couple of steps to get up. And isn't that much better than a ladder? Although I think I preferred normal steps. <laughs> um, bathroom in here. It's an elegant bathroom. There's something else broken. And uh, I don't know if I dare, dare risk the bed. Um, uh, I'll tell you what, I think we can agree on this. Um, you might want to watch the bed in a different film. It doesn't seem to me to be correct. Right. I'll soon tell you. Um, this is uh, this this is for the for the, uh, to to block the bed up when it's down. So there's a sort of curtain there. I'll just stick it back up there. To be quite honest, I don't want to start playing with this bed. I think I think the the vehicle might break in half or something. <laughs> Uh, you've got some electrics up there. That's a, that's a good place to put much. You're in bed. You can sort of plug in there. And no, I like these. Um, uh, Clothes hooks as well from Benny Mar for the Benny Mar logo. That looks quite smart. And uh, you can see here what's going on inside the van. Right. Okay. So that's that's what Benny Mar describes as being new. Garage is good though. Oh, I like a nice garage. 
Okay then, I'll show you a couple of more vans. That's the Milio 261. This is the 442. And uh, this one here is uh, Tesoro, 4, 4, Tesoro 442. 64,000 euros. 694 in um, length and 230 in width. And you come in greeted by this curtain, which is somebody hasn't put back so i'll put it back goes up there it's going to need ironing but um or maybe it's one of these non-iron ones kitchen um so sort of the range three burners uh this i think is uh i mean it's not the first Benny Ma vehicle to have it like this, but I quite like this. Uh, the bed, you know, sort of the way it's contoured to have more space here at the back to make use of the space you've got. You've got this really large wardrobe. Um, Oh, it looks a bit different from the other one. Oh, sorry, sorry, that was my fault, that one. I didn't uh, do it properly. Place your television up there. There's your television holder. Right, what do you think of that one? What do you think, which one's the best? And let's go and have a look at the next one. Uh, that's a Tesoro 442, seven meters, what? Seven meter class. And the Tesoro 483, which uh, let's have a look at the size of this. Well, it's a bit shorter. So this one here is 659 centimeters long, but it's got 65,000 euros approximately. And it's got a uh, more, uh, quite an unusual layout on this. Look at that, you've got this uh, large table, enormous lounge, bed up there. And you've got this uh, bed down here as well. All right, which will come out. If you don't want the bed here, you can take it out. Oh, you, might, you, you might want to sleep down there, take the other bed out, I don't know. And you've got this magnificent amount of storage space. Now, often we see the storage space, usually we see the storage space under the bed. Here, we've got the opposite. And there's a couple of Benny Marvans doing this. I don't think this is a bad idea, actually. You know, if you do that, it gives you a huge amount of space. I mean, admittedly, it's only a single bed. It's in the garage. You could, I mean, you could take the whole thing out because you should be able to use the garage. Uh, here's the fridge. Now, this is definitely a more unusual uh, van. I'll go, I think I might go and sit down here and contemplate the van. There's a step up here. 
and I'm going to sit round looking out like this at the rest of the van. Right, so what I've tried to do is to show you some new Benimar models, which I seem, no, I don't think they're actually all that new, but they're a bit new. And uh, this one here, I've never seen this one before in this chair, at least I think not. I mean, somebody probably give me a link to, uh, on a video on my own site and say, what's that then? Yeah, well, I, maybe I forgot. But I don't recall ever seeing this vehicle uh, like this in the past. I really think that bed there is quite, it's quite, it's quite a good idea. It's an innovative, innovative uh, use of the wardrobe, which I really think is an important thing to have. And below you can use the space, put bicycle in her. So, so I think that's quite, that's quite good. I mean, what you want a huge table like this for? When there's only two people in here, or three people maybe, uh, is 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 beyond me. So people say, what about entertaining? And this shows how little they know about motorhomes. Where do you entertain when you're on a campsite? What? Right, write the answer down below. Yeah, well, no, don't bother, I'll tell you. Uh, entertaining is almost always done outside. The only time people come into your, your motorhome uh, is, is when the weather's inclement or it's winter or, or something like that. So that, that is the... Um, that's when you might need a big table but nearly always it's outside do you travel in the winter well well I do but you know most people don't really do it that much so in my opinion and you know, people say this thing about uh, having you might have some guests around bear in mind you've got a vehicle which is under 14 square meters inside you can't say what if what if what if um, all the time. Oh, I'll need a spare bed. Oh, I'll need a bigger table. Oh, I'll need a huge kitchen. Oh, I'll need this, that, and the other. Uh, you, and you've got to fit it into 14 square meters. Oh, what if I don't find a place to park? I'll need to have a, a shorter van. Um, you've got to be realistic. And that's the whole thing here. What I'm always trying to do on my site, I try to be realistic. You know, that's why you don't see me sort of driving down the. Um... Yeah, I'll just turn the thing on the mirror. No, I won't go. Uh, people don't want to see me with a mask on. Um, I just might take the mask off now. I'm inside. I don't have to wear it. Yeah, I'll so, um, you don't. I try to give people the reality. I you know, sort of. I live like this. This is my life. I, uh, I, I travel around in the van all the time. And so, what, what do you get from his reality? That's why I don't want to do things like the cheapest five bands or the cheapest three bands. Uh, it's not it's not realistic because you, the prices the prices are caught here and then you know short price here and uh, which is the base price but no, nobody ever charges you the base price it doesn't exist it's 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 a fantasy price um, because then you've got to get delivery well okay you're paying for delivery extra on top of your base price well how can delivery be an option it doesn't make any sense to me and say so, okay I'll go to the factory and pick it up do you think you can do that to avoid paying delivery, no, we're still not deliver it to you. You're gonna to have to, you're gonna to have to come to the factory gates and pick it up, and you have to pay for the delivery there. That's the way it works. And so the base price doesn't mean anything. And so the thing about having large tables, I mean the large fridge argument. I mean I do think there are people who have large fridges who do a lot of travelling. And but the thing is, this is it means access to gas, and you know access to gas isn't all that easy, particularly if you don't have the refillable solution because the there's no standard uh, of gas in uh, Europe. So uh, that's how I see the situation. Right. So having said all that, a little bit of a rant. Uh, I think I'll continue filming vans. I'm quite tired now. I've been doing this. I started. Uh, I got up at five this morning. I wish I could sleep longer. I can't sleep. Uh, I can't sleep in the morning. I, um, um, you know, when you're five o'clock in the morning, you've got. Uh, I don't. Dog doesn't wake me up or anything. Those days are gone. But um, uh, the the uh, I'm sort of used to that. I go to bed after my um, last. My premiere ends at nine thirty or thereabouts, and I'm in bed. I'm usually I'm usually already in my my night attire uh, when the premiere's on. So I go to bed immediately. And I get then I, and um, here I really need to sleep longer because I've got, I, I'm then doing stuff, you know, meeting people. I'm doing this, that, and the other. So I'm up until gone midnight, and then I wake up again at five o'clock in the morning, which isn't very good idea when you're at a trade fair. 
Anyway, um, I thought I'd tell you that, and uh, uh, that's a part of the difficulty in doing these things. Right, let's get back onto this van. Anyway, I'll have to stick my mask on back on again. For how to take your mask off if you sit down? At least that's how I understand it. Mask going back on. I don't know if wearing this mask is making me tired. It might be. Um, or it's something else. Don't know. Don't know. Last year, I felt really tired, but then again, I was on antibiotics. I'm not on antibiotics. I might, I might need them, but I'm not on them. Right, so let's go out now, and we'll finish this with a look of the van I was driving. It's good, though, that I had to get into these vans and nobody's shouting at me for uh, uh, being in it. You know what, I can't even know which van we started off from. <laughs> which was it the Milio, Milio 268? Uh, the beginning. Okay, let's just assume it was the Milio 2. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't this one. It was this one here, the 261. That was the one I started off filming. So uh, we'll walk back around here. Stand here with the uh, camera in place. Showing the entire van. Got that Uromobile sign in the background. Here, I'll take the Benny Ma sign in as well. I want a good shot for the end. How does that sound? Does that look all right? Right, that's where we're going to end this. Thanks for watching, and all the best from Dusseldorf.